Here in the Wasatch Range, we get a lot of really strong winter storms, and we average over 550 inches of snow per year. With those big storms, usually come some big avalanche problems, for better or for worse. In the past, ski areas and avalanche programs relied pretty heavily on military or artillery. So there is an unmistakable sound of the howitzers in the morning here for many, many years. And eventually, through various concerns that the military had, they were expressing they would like us to look for different avenues for how we you know, deal with our avalanche problems here. And now we're moving into a newer era and products of uh, racks, remote avalanche control systems are starting to come to the forefront. So it's late October here in Little Cottonwood and uh, luckily we have a blue sky day. Kind of in between storms, sounds like we're gonna get hit maybe on Sunday and this is the last push. Like this is one of the last things to check off the list to get her done before it can start snowing in our nest. So the project today was to fly all of our recent towers. We have 17, which were the ski area with the most Beeson Towers in North America. Beeson Tower is, is really two parts. First you have the tower, and then you have the deployment box that sits on top. Inside that deployment box is like a carousel of different explosives, all, all the same, 12. And they rotate around every time you call up a shot and it'll drop out of out of the deployment box. It hangs by a string, and then, you know, the predetermined length of safety fuse burns, and eventually that explosive will detonate above the snow. With the artillery going away in the near future, we needed to have a plan moving forward so that we could control these zones or mitigate these zones that were effective that didn't put ourselves at risk. Attention all snowbird hand units, we're going to shoot 13 turns in Mineral Basin, Beeson Tower, MB05. They're super effective. We're getting a bunch of really big avalanches and avalanches in areas we haven't seen avalanches before. These are, at this point in time, the best option that we have. Prior to the Vison Towers, uh, we were mitigating avalanches up on Fancy Ridge through explosive mitigation and ski cutting. Uh, and a single mission would require upwards of four people five hours to complete. So with the advent of modern technology, the ability to use remote avalanche control systems, we saw it as an opportunity to increase our worker safety, as well as increase the rate at which we can open up terrain. If we can push a button and create avalanches, that'll save us five hours of work and enable us to open terrain much more quickly for the public. While VSIN may be the most prominent new form of remote avalanche control, it isn't the only one. There's the not new but effective GAZ-X, as well as other types, such as Obelex. But one of the issues with all of these systems is that they can be costly and time-consuming to install and reload ammunition, often requiring the use of helicopters. But a new type of rack, the Boom Whoosh, is looking to solve this problem. Um, today we tested the Boom Whoosh, which is the newest remote avalanche control system that exists, and it hasn't been tested like this before, so we're excited. Groves, are you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Clear to fire. 
The North American Avalanche market has been served well by some European vendors. However, there are some different needs of the American industry, specifically reducing dependency on helicopters. And I had the idea to design a remote avalanche control system that did not depend on helicopters for operations and use. And the boom whoosh is what came out of that. It's an exciting time in the world of avalanche mitigation. As ski resorts continue to evolve with new technology, one thing remains the same. As long as it snows, Avalanches are a problem that must be dealt with. Anybody that's concerned that they're not going to be woken up by the sound of explosives is horribly misled. They will continue to hear a lot of noise. As long as it snows in this canyon, we'll be using explosives for avalanche mitigation. We're just going to use different types. <laughs>